Welcome to PTCE Pharmacy Technician Exam Practice Test. Our topic today is Administration and Management of the Pharmacy. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. Which of these drugs is not a high alert medication? A. Neuromuscular blocking agents. B. Heparin. C. Insulin. D. Penicillin. The correct answer is D. Penicillin. Explanation. Penicillin is not a high alert medication. Options A, B, and C are incorrect because these are high alert medications. Number 2. Which stage of FMEA consists of identifying any failures in the process and determining why the failure is occurring? A. Stage 1. B. Stage 2. C. Stage 3. D. Stage 4. The correct answer is C. Stage 3. Explanation. In Stage 3 the team identifies any failures in the process and determines why those failures are occurring. Option A is incorrect, because in Stage 1, the multidisciplinary team first determines how the product is to be used. Option D is incorrect, because Stage 4 is when the team considers the patient's pre-existing conditions, if any, and any processes already in place that may cause an error before the drug reaches the patient. Option B is incorrect, because stage 2 is when the team examines possible failures of the drug, including whether the drug could be mistaken for another one, if the labeling of the drug could be confused with another, or if errors could easily occur during the administration of the drug. Number 3. A pharmacy technician incorrectly reads a prescription label. Which multiple check system has failed? A. Dispensing. B. Drop-off. C. Verification. D. Data Entry. The correct answer is A. Dispensing. Explanation. Pharmacy technicians may incorrectly read the prescription label during the dispensing process when selecting the drug. Option D is incorrect, because during data entry, pharmacy technicians focus on accurately entering patient data. Option C is incorrect because pharmacists, not pharmacy technicians, are responsible for verification. Option B is incorrect, because pharmacy technicians work with the patient to accurately enter information during drop-off and alert the pharmacist to any valid concerns. Number 4. Which type of source is most commonly used in research by pharmacy technicians? A. Secondary sources. B. Tertiary sources. C. Primary sources. D. None of the above. The correct answer is B. Tertiary sources. Explanation. Pharmacy technicians usually use tertiary sources in research. Option A is incorrect, because while technicians do use secondary sources, these sources are not consulted as frequently as tertiary sources are. Option C is incorrect, because pharmacy technicians do not generally use primary sources for research. Option D is incorrect because tertiary, secondary, and primary resources denote sources of information used in research. Number 5. Which is not a work practice control is defined by OSHA. A. Universal precautions. B. Proper disinfection procedures. C. Proper handling of spills. D. Biohazard symbols. The correct answer is D. Biohazard symbols. Explanation. Biohazard symbols are engineering controls. Option A is incorrect because work practice controls include universal precautions. Option B is incorrect, because work practice controls include proper disinfection procedures. Option C is incorrect, because work practice controls include proper handling of spills. Number 6. Which is considered an ergonomic hazard? A. Incorrect shoes without slip-resistant soles. B. Incorrect lifting technique. C. Incorrect workplace design. D. Incorrect spill cleanup. The correct answer is C. Incorrect workplace design. Explanation. Incorrect workplace design is an ergonomic hazard. Option A is incorrect, because shoes that have no slip-resistant soles are a physical hazard. Option B is incorrect, because incorrect lifting is physically hazardous. Option D is incorrect, because failure to properly clean up a spill would result in a physical hazard. Number 7. Major factors of ALARA consist of all of these, except a. Shielding. B. Distance. 
C. Wait. D. Time. The correct answer is C. Wait. Explanation. Weight is not a factor in ALARA, other options are incorrect. Time, distance and shielding are major factors of ALARA. Number 8. Which is a system of purchasing in which the pharmacy and a single wholesaler establish a relationship? A. Prime vendor purchasing. B. Special ordering. C. Wholesaler purchasing. D. Direct purchasing. The correct answer is A. Prime Vendor Purchasing. Explanation. Prime Vendor Purchasing is a system of purchasing in which a relationship is established between the pharmacy and a single wholesaler. Option B is incorrect, because pharmacies use special ordering to obtain specific drugs such as investigational drugs, controlled substances, cytotoxic drugs, and hazardous substances. Option C is incorrect, because in wholesaler purchasing, many products are purchased from one vendor source. Option D is incorrect, because direct purchasing eliminates the need for intermediary and handling fees for drug procurement. Number 9. When returning a drug to the vendor, all of the following information is required on the return form, except a. The item order number. b. The pharmacy technician's certification number. c. The reason for returning the item. d. The order purchase number. The correct answer is B. The pharmacy technician's certification number. Explanation. The pharmacy technician's certification number is not required on the return form. Option A is incorrect, because the item order number is required on the return form. Option C is incorrect, because the return form must include the reason for returning the item. Option D is incorrect, because the return form must contain the order purchase number. Number 10. Which of the following is not true about stocking drugs? A. All pharmacies arrange drugs on the shelf alphabetically by brand name. B. Technicians must be knowledgeable about the arrangement of the drug supply. C. Drugs are separated by their routes of administration. D. Refrigerated drugs must be stored in the refrigerator as soon as possible. The correct answer is A. All pharmacies arrange drugs on the shelf alphabetically by brand name. Explanation. Not all pharmacies arrange drugs alphabetically by brand name. Some pharmacies arrange drugs by generic name. Option B is incorrect, because it is true that technicians must be knowledgeable about the arrangement of the drug supply. Option C is incorrect, because drugs are indeed separated by their routes of administration. Option D is incorrect, because refrigerated drugs must be properly stored as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.